Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Gramps. Today I'm going to be approaching the different topics that have been brought up in the comment section and I'm going to be talking about the problems with some of my builds now with the recent patches and I'm going to be addressing some uh, minor changes and etc. First of all, the first person I have is Jack Yunato. Forgive me if I pronounce that wrong and he asks me, server please, upside down, sad face. Well, the server that I'm playing on is Intoxicated Sandbox US. It normally has around 20 or 30 people in it. You guys can do all your customization and everything else on there, and it makes it really easy for you guys to build or play around with. I really like the server. It's always online, great connectivity, and etc. The second question that I have is by Sharkbait TV. That isn't really more of a question, but he just says that will be patched next week. And what he is referencing to is this star design that I have over here. And just so you guys know, Shark, you're absolutely correct in saying that this will be patched because this has officially been patched and you are un unable to create these double walls. I know that you see this in front of me, however, I'm not able to make them consistently on every single portion of it. Because if you see me go ahead and try to make a square foundation here, it goes blue and all, but it always says not enough space there's something occupying it or it'll just come over here and say straight red and it won't allow me to place whatsoever so you are absolutely right shark bait that is 100 percent patched next on the list i have colin b plays he says nice design but this doesn't work anymore since you can't access a large furnace from the top of it anymore unfortunately and that is what he is talking about when he referenced to my evolution design. And this is what I've built right over here. And Colin, again, you're absolutely correct. You try to open it up and guess what? You get absolutely nothing out of it. All you do is access your inventory. You can't actually go down there. What my suggestion is for a approach to the people who do like this design is just to create a small ladder hatch and a doorway going down so you're able to still access it. This does not give them any better access that they already have getting to your second floor. The only thing is you guys just got to make sure that this ladder hatch stays closed when you're with, working with your friends. Next on the list, I have Elite Sniper 24. He says you blow through the honeycomb on the main base and blow the foundations of the actual house. Then the loot will rain. Lead Sniper, I'm going to actually go through this with you right here and I already have some rockets prepared and I already have a crate on top that you see here where I have a bunch of jack lanterns on the inside so I'm going to go inside and shoot these really quick at the top and if you are right it's just going to start raining down on me and he will be 100% right so let's go ahead and just start spamming this. If you see pumpkins raining down on this last shot that means he's 100% right. Oh, you see a bunch of pumpkins. Only got... How many do I have? Oh, they seem to be rained all over the area. It's probably an entire chest full. So, Mr. Elite Sniper 24, you're absolutely correct. If you shoot up straight up in any of the tower design or the bridge design, all the loot will rain, and you're right. The next portion goes to Hindu Goat, who says... He is referencing my behemoth model and he says this doesn't work anymore they stopped back-to-back -back walls foundations must be two meters apart now i'm going to approach you right now mr hindu goat i can keep placing these walls down all i want all day and never have a problem with them and they all work just fine so if you guys ever have any worries about the behemoth model it still works perfectly fine you're able to place down these walls and never have any issues now to the last comment of the day i am referencing Clamhog. Clamhog says, won't the cupboard decay because no door on it and to open and close? Well, you're absolutely right. These will decay over time, especially that you won't be repairing them. And the only difference is, is that when you start building upwards, you do have different kinds of entrances and you will be opening and closing doors on the upper levels. However, if you sustain damage, you're gonna have a problem with repairing these in the long run. So how you officially do that is to just remove one of these doors over here if you're worried about it for that central cupboard area where you're gonna have that all you need to do is that instead of add a wall you could just add a normal doorway and just flip it around and just have it here as a backup if you guys wanted to you guys don't have to it takes the same amount of c4 or rockets to break through that if you have a nice solid door on that versus just having a straight stone wall so you can have that in an inconspicuous out of the way area rather than where you normally have your entrance and from there you can always repair it 
that concludes the video of replying to all the comments. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about this stuff, make sure you say so in the comment section. If you guys like this, leave a like. And if you guys like this video, subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video out there. And good luck out there. And then jerk and the world that is rust.